Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here with Microsurvey, and in today's video, I'm going to showcase one of Microsurvey CAD's most beloved features, and that is the Kogo routine. There are lots of different input options for the Kogo routine that can um, get pretty advanced, um, but to keep this video short and sweet, I'm just going to focus on some very basic functions. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna try to use just my hand for as much of the routine as possible. I'm gonna try to limit my uh, mouse usage. Um, and please bear in mind that I'm not a production level drafter. So you can just use your imagination to try to see how someone who's doing um, these functions on an everyday basis, how quick and automated this entire process could be. Um, yeah, so without further ado. Okay, so um, as I get going with this quick demonstration, um, you guys are going to want to follow along in the command line in the bottom left hand corner. Um, so once you enter the Kogo command, it takes you into routine, it takes you into a routine, sorry, and, um, and the whole thing is completely automated, very simple to, um, to follow. So, okay, so first things first, you're going to hit Kogo. It's going to ask you enter the from point. So that is the point that you want to start at one, enter, and then it brings you to this dialogue, which you're going to enter in your starting point coordinates. We're just going to do assumed coordinates for now. And then it's generated the uh, first point starting point. And if you zoom to extents, you'll be able to see it. When you get back into that um, dialogue, the next thing it's going to ask you for is the azimuth. So I'll put 359.5, the distance, 100 feet, and then pick enter or the solve point. So this is what point is the routine solving for? Number two, <clears throat> which side do you want the bearing placed? You can hit A or B for above or below. Let's hit A for above. And that's what we have as our very first line. Uh, one of the great features about the Kogo, it's called the recall feature. Um, so if you just type in where it says enter azimuth, you can just put two dot dot one. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull the same azimuth from between point two and point one. Um, and then I'm going to subtract 90. So that's what's called turning an angle. I'm going to enter the distance. Enter. Here we're going to do some recall, two to three, two to three. This lot's the exact same. We're going to put the bearing on the top. Now we're going to try to find this uh, point over here in the corner. Um, so we're going to use our two different azimuths here, 179.5. We're going to say we don't know the distance. We're going to enter the other azimuth. And then the two point is point going to be point one. So there you go. That was a quick bearing bearing calculation. Now we're going to do the next corner. And you can see how quickly this comes along. <clears throat> so that's what we have. We just quickly did two lots. Um, I do have this sped up, but the entire time that it took me to do these two lots was probably about five minutes, six minutes. Um, now I just want to quickly show you guys um, how to inverse between two points in the Kogo routine. Um, it's super easy. You type in Kogo, you just type in uh, the two points that you want to get a distance between. So I want to find out um, what is the distance between four and eight. So I just do four dot dot eight. This little dialog pops up. You don't have to do anything, just looks good to me. Select the side that you want the distance to be annotated on. And that's it. Thanks for tuning into my video today. If you want some further resources about Kogo, you can check out the um, Microsurvey CAD videos on our help desk. Um, we also offer some courses specifically on Kogo um, in our learn.microsurvey.com uh, Microsurvey School. 
So once again, I hope you learned something new. Please feel free to reach out with any questions that you might have and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.